Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is compound interest. Uh, this is a great lesson. I wish uh, I would have learned about this uh, when I was in high school, so I'll show you why in just a little bit. So how do we model the value of an investment that earns compound interest? There's a couple of formulas, you guys. So here's the first one, you guys. In, uh, uh, interest that compounds annually, so uh, basically once a year. So uh, and this is where most accounts are. This is where like the stock market is and 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 uh, other investments. So, and we'll talk about that. So, um, uh, V of T is equal to P times one plus R to the T, and then V of T is the ending value, so uh, the ending principle, and then the time is in years, and uh, the P is the principle, which is your initial amount that you invest. All right. So, John invests ten thousand dollars into an account that earns five percent annual interest. Find the value after ten years. Okay. So we're just plugging it in, you guys. So it's um, uh, the investment after 10 years is a 10,000, his initial investment, okay? And then one plus uh, the, the interest rate, so 5% is, uh, whoops, that should be 0 0.05. Uh, I know it says it in my other one. I'm positive. Anyways, that should be 0 0.05 right there. And uh, let's see, so, um, uh, so 1 plus, so let's go ahead and add these together, 1 plus 0 0.05 is 1.05, okay? And uh, so if we do 1.05 to the 10th, we get about uh, this, and don't round it to 1.63, because uh, when you're talking money, banks certainly won't round it to that, they'll, they'll carry it out as far as their their computer will let them do that so after you invest all of that so after 10 years of five percent uh, he let that money work for him and he gets over six grand uh, for investing ten thousand dollars okay all right so here julie invests uh twelve thousand or twenty thousand dollars in the stock market and that earns an average of twelve percent annual interest how much would this earn after 30 years and you're thinking well twelve percent's uh a lot but in general, you guys, if you can follow my, well, I'll do this, you guys. So in general, um, uh, they stock markets do this. They they start, you know, they start, you know, whatever it is. Say like this is right now, okay? Or, let, or let's just go back to like the year 2000, and the stock market goes up, and then it goes down, and then it goes up, and then it goes down, and then it goes up, and then it goes down, and you know, it just keeps doing that every year. And then in 2008, we had a big crash and it dived. You know, it didn't go that back down to whatever. Actually, it went down way back down here, you know. And then, you know, it started going up again and down and up again and down and up again and down. And it just, this is the stock market. It just keeps climbing. It does dive, but it keeps climbing, you know. So in general, if you can see, the stock market just keeps climbing. And and since 2008, it's been well over 12%. So since 2000, it's I, I don't know what it's been. I don't have that information in front of me, but it's quite a bit. And so people make lots of money in the stock market right there. So um, uh, if we if we go ahead and do this, so here we're going to do 30 years for $20,000 for Julie. So it's 12%, 1 pu uh, plus uh, point, uh, 12 and then let's go ahead and add those together. So 1 plus 0.12 is uh, 1.12. And so uh, that's going to, and then we're going to raise that. So find your X to the Y button or, um, or your Y to the X button, or you have a little, um, uh, a little carrot button, I like to call it. So I don't know why my AP statistics students call it a carrot button. So it looks like that. Okay, and upside down capital V. That's all your exponent stuff. So, so you're going to punch in uh, 1.12 to the 30th, and you're going to get uh, this. Okay, all right. And so if we round that out, then we're going to multiply that times $20,000. So after 30 years, uh, she's got uh, almost $600,000 in that account. So she just leaves it in there and just lets that money work for her. That's quite a bit of change after 30 years. And you figure, you know, you're 18, so after 30 years, you'd be 48, and you got um, uh, uh, almost $600,000 in there. Well, let's just uh, uh, invest it to uh, 40 years. So now you're 58, okay? So we're going to do the same formula. And uh, and you plug that in, and so it, it just keeps growing. It's, you know, it's the magic of the compound interest. So if you multiply that... I mean, you know, at, you know, at 58, you'd be, you know, you'd have a couple, almost two million dollars into your account. 
How about after 47 years? That would mean when you're about 65 years old at retirement age. Well, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. You got over $4 million in there. Now, you might not have $20 million in cash. So let's just say you at 18, you invest um, uh, $2,000 and put it in for 12% into the stock market. And the next year you invest $2,000. And the next year you invest $2,000. And you just do it for 10 years. $2,000, $2,000, $2,000. And then when you stop, you're still going to get about two and a half million bucks at the age of 65. So, um, uh, so you know, I mean, I, I wish somebody would have showed me this stuff when I was your age. I had to start investing a long time ago. So anyways, so here's another formula, you guys. Interest more than once a year is this formula right here. So it's the initial principal. Um, this is my ending balance right there. Uh, and then uh, R is, of course, your rate. And N is um, uh, the number of times of interest in each year. Okay. So, um, and then uh, the T st uh, stands for, you know, how many times it's invested. So if it says semi-annually, that's twice a year. If it's quarterly, it's four times a year. If it's monthly, it's 12 times a year. And daily is 365 times a year, okay? So that would be the T right there, okay? So, so here we go. Margaret invests that $20,000 into an account that earns 12% annual interest compounded quarterly. Well, quarterly means four times a year. Find the investment after 30 years, okay? All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and um, uh, plug that in. And um, so the time is uh, 30 years. I'm sorry, N was the number of times it gets invested. Did I say T? I'm sorry, it's N. So anyway, so N goes here, full quarterly goes here. And after 30 years, is um, uh, we're going to plug that out. So let's go ahead and do the 1 plus... Um, uh, 0.12 divided by 4 is 0 0.03, and then we add those together and raise that to the 120th power, and so Margaret's going to get about $694, or $694,219.74, something like that, okay? All right, I hope that makes sense, you guys, and there's your assignment if you're in my class. Take care.